I want to show it again. Uh, the thumb and the second finger for me are the rings. This is sort of a Russian violin school. Yeah? If you go to the Galamian school and so on, for me, uh, a big inspiration is my trio uh, colleague, Ilya Kaller. So uh, looking and playing with him and seeing that ring and the, the amount of core and focus you can get. So what I want you to try uh, back in Austria is first of all, to be able to hold the bow with the thumb, I don't know if you can see, but the thumb where you put it, you know, at the end of the frog, beginning of the leather part, you put your thumb, bend your thumb, and then goes along to the relaxation. Thumb never, never, never straight and squeezed, never, always bent, always bent and flexible. Then on the silver or gold part of the frog, put your second finger and be able to control the bow with thumb, two, and pinky, pinky just gently touching the end part of the frog. So uh, since you asked, I did not plan to do it, but look, I have here a big bag of rubber band. <laughs> See, I'm gonna take one. Now those things are really cheap. I would never ask you to buy something that is a big expense. You take the rubber band, you put it inside the frog, and you go right side on the nuts and left side on the nuts. And what you create is this triangle. Dan, can you see that? Can you see this? Yeah, good. So that's gonna help you to place your pinky in what I think is the right place and the second finger. So you take your middle finger, I know it looks weird, and you put it under the top part of the rubber band, placing it on the silver part, yeah? Then you take your pinky and there's the back part of the rubber band and you put it in. And all you have left now is to put your thumb bent in its place. So you create what I call the bow hold triangle. It's the pinky, the thumb and the same. Now, this is easy because the rubber band is holding it. Yeah? And I'm putting it now on the bone, the balance point, so it's easy. And all I want you to do is to lift the first and the fourth, the ring finger, and to pump it with those three fingers. Just pump it with your three fingers, back and forth, back and forth. Now, if you do it well, you can also take your fingers out and keep the rubber band on the bow. Keep it for a while, it's okay, and then practice with it or play it. It's kind of addictive, so don't play too much with it. It's so comfortable. But it kind of forces a sort of a cast to put your fingers in the right place. Now, once it's there, you can do it in the frog. I'm not playing with the bow, I'm just pumping. And I'm not putting any pressure or, or power or, um, on, the, on the bow. I'm just here, middle, tip. And I'm making sure my fingers are flexible. That's really important. Then, with this hold within the rubber band, Try to, on one string, to play the, the Twinkle Twinkle song. See, I'm not doing it with one and four. It's really weird. Now, if you do it once, then take your fingers out of the rubber band, place the triangle, and gently drop four and one, and do the same, now using all the fingers. So even now when I play and I'm free, I still have a feeling of rubber band. If you have in Austria Play-Doh, if you buy a, a just Play-Doh and you put the triangle hold on a Play-Doh and you try to make a sign with the three fingers on the Play-Doh, not a hole, a hole would mean squeezing, just make a mark with the three fingers. That the hold you want to keep on the on the bow, on the frog and stick. That hold all the time. So if you tell me that the bow starts moving or you're not holding it, there is a hold, as I said in the beginning of the lesson. When you play fortissimo, you're not fluffy and you're not on the fingerboard, but it should be with elephant-like amount of weight while a ballerina is dancing the swan leg. That's exactly what it is. 